Okay, my first pass on this video was eight minutes, so we're going to do it shorter. It is going to be late, but hopefully it will not be just miserable for you guys to watch. Um, word of the week is inviolable. Inviolable. You might find vile in there, like violate. Uh, inviolable uh, things are cannot be broken. Um, inviolable rights, some people would argue that you have. Uh, those rights cannot be taken from you. Um... I think it's kind of a fun word to say. I also think that it's a really interesting concept. Uh, and uh, the whole uh, rights is a good one, but th what is inviolable to you and what is not inviolable to you is just kind of really, really a fascinating topic. Um, okay. Uh, this week was really not very eventful. Lots of schoolwork this weekend, lots of Quidditch uh, stuff uh, the rest of the days. Um, nothing uh, that is not noteworthy enough to tell you. Um... I'm going to spend a lot of time on the theme because I, you can't just be like, pick somewhere to go in history and then, and then expect me to do it in like 20, like I'm not that, I'm just such a nerd for this shit, you have no idea. So I just, I, I spent quite a bit of time this evening um, worrying about which play, which like time to pick and then I realized that I needed to make a list and then I had to decide which things were going to be on that list and then I had to edit the list. So... <laughs> It was a long process. Um, so we're gonna. Well, I'm gonna run through it and talk a little bit about each place. Hopefully, it won't be that long. I'm sorry. Um, okay. So this is chronologically. Uh, we're starting in Egypt in 2575 BC. Um, 2575 BC in Egypt, like crazy civilization shit is going down, and that's happening nowhere else, which makes it worthwhile just from that aspect. But 2575 is also the period of Khufu. Uh, Khufu is the, um, is the pharaoh, uh, who commissioned the building of the Great Pyramid at Giza, like the big one. Um, not only would it be a really cool time to be in Egypt, but it would be f just really interesting to see how that was done, and the sort of labor that was required for that. That's about ten years before we think he died, uh, which means that, um, it would have been in full swing. Uh, and just real, I don't think the aliens were involved, and I'm just kind of interested in seeing that occur, uh, and, and kind of getting a, a sense of on the ground. Um, now, I know this doesn't happen in Doctor Who. I don't know a lot about Doctor Who. I would like to know more. But one of the things that's really cool about a game called Time Splitters, uh, for GameCube that you may have played, is that when you travel back in time, you get to take on the, uh, persona. You t you become somebody else, basically. You, in you inhabit somebody else's body. Um, which is a great, great thing, I think. Um, for what I want to do. Because, like, a lot of these situations that I'm about to tell you about, like, if I'm some white guy, I'm just going to get killed. If I'm some, like, you know, uh, like, I, I, I would need to be involved to make it as good as I want it to be. So I want to be, like, for instance, coming up, I want to be Stalin's coffee boy. Or I want to be, uh, you know, whatever. Um, not a Roman guard. Um, okay. So, uh, that was just a little sidebar. Uh, Trial of Socrates, 399 BC. That's in Greece. Um, if Socrates did not exist, uh, then at least I'm still in Greece in 399, and there are worse things than that. If he did exist, then 399 is a really good time to uh, learn what, about him. Uh, Trial of Socrates, uh, he was tried as a heretic um, and basically sentenced to self imposed suicide uh, by eating hemlock. You may know that already, I'm sorry. Um, that trial, if it happened, was fucking very, very, very interesting uh, from a sort of philosophical uh, point of view. And the... Plato wrote... What we have on it mostly is written by Plato. Um, and it's not as thorough as I want it to be. Like, it's just that would be a really cool thing to sit in on, I think. From a philosophical point of view, from a historical point of view, uh, and also because I would get to go and talk to Plato afterwards. And come on, um, trial of Socrates, um, the uh, the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, thirty three uh, common era. Um, that uh, so there are worse times to be in you know Mesopotamia uh, than thirty three. Like kind of an interesting period of time, uh, just politically anyway. But um, yeah, Jesus, dude. Uh, so beforehand, like, what he's up to, what's going on, what the following is like, uh, really sort of an interesting thing, um, how the crucifixion goes down, uh, whether or not he comes back to life, sort of interesting, uh, and, uh, the Pentecost, what happens right after that, uh, just kind of a, it would be really cool to see how the, uh, 
what the split is, who like who's behind him, what the ideas are, uh, early Christianity wise, like really, really, really before Christianity has been coined, shit. Like, come on. Um, yes, please. Uh, how are we doing on time? Oh, five minutes already. Shit. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, this is gonna be so long, and you're gonna hate it. Um, Muhammad takes Medina, 6:30, uh, common era. Um, Muhammad takes Mecca. I'm so sorry. Uh, Muhammad is kicked out of Me of Mecca uh, early in his career, goes to Medina, and becomes a much more powerful figure in Medina, both religiously and pol politically, and takes Mecca by force in 630. Um, this is, uh, right around this time, is where a lot of the major divides in Islam uh, really kind of come to the fore. And it would be interesting to see that pan out, and also just you know again, kind of what the what the faith is like there at the beginning, there at the there at the first bit, and what Muhammad is like, because you get a lot of you get a whole lot more about Muhammad than you do about say Jesus as a person, but still an interesting interesting period of time. Uh, Tang Dynasty, 800 C. That's China. Um, Tang is like at the height. Tang is a really cosmopolitan, really. Uh, culturally developed um, dynasty. And it would be interesting to be in the city and kind of just experience, having that going on around you, I think. Um, okay, uh, big jump here. Constitutional Congress, 1786. Um, not going with the revolution and the Declaration of Independence. Uh, that one is, everybody's a lot more angry uh, and there's war and stuff, not as awesome. 1786 is when like the real like policy sort of things are being hammered out and the really like philosophical Politically philosophical arguments are being are being laid out. Everybody's in a really hot room in Philadelphia uh, in the summer, and they're just like figuring out this completely new, not completely new, but basically new system of government. Like fucking really interesting, and all the people that you want to talk to from that time period are there, uh, and just to hear the arguments and the, the, just to see the development would be great. Um, Bolshevik Revolution, 1917. Uh, the October Revolution, absolutely fascinating. I love Russia. Um, and so you get to see the end of the Tsarist period, uh, how, with Nicholas. Um, you get to see, uh, the Bolsheviks take over and shit just goes to hell, like in a big way. Um, not so much, we know what happened there, like I don't need that aspect, but it would just kind of be cool to be on the scene, I feel like. Uh, as long as I didn't get killed. Um, I don't want to be a bourgeoisie landowner in that situation. Um, Yalta, 1945, is lasties. Um, the Yalta conference uh, was between Churchill, Stalin, and FDR. Um, and basically they decided what the world was going to look like after, the world, after Germany lost. After World War II ended. Uh, they were like basically carved the world. Series of influence, the whole fucking deal. Um, and that meeting has such far-reaching consequences for, like, they basically laid out what the world was going to look like up until now. Like, that did just so much hinges on that shit. And we know a lot of what happened, but just really, really interesting to see the interplay between those three, like, big key figures and get a sense of where they're all coming from and, and, and whether or not they have any idea of the scope of what they're doing would just be so interesting to me. Um, okay, uh, so this is again nine minutes. I'm so sorry. Uh, feel free to skip this video. If you've made it this far, though, you can't. Uh, just yell at me and punish me so hard. Uh, I will talk to you guys in the future.